Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Gary and I'm here with another review, this time for the Air Up water bottle. Think new, drink new, what a slogan. I don't know if you guys have caught any of the uh, marketing or the publicity around this. I couldn't avoid it, it was everywhere. It's flashy, it was nicely presented, it was very clear what the product was selling and I was really excited to give it a go. So I'm happy that I've got my hands on one. If you've seen my last review for the Bayho Portable Blender, you might know that I have had a turbulent time during the pandemic with Coca-Cola. It's my vice, I like it. In fact, I talked about it a lot in the last review, like this. I enjoy myself, but I have a vice, and the vice is Coca-Cola. And so when I saw this product on the shelves, boasting a Coca-Cola flavor, I thought this could be my cure. It's a water bottle that apparently gives you 100% of the health benefits of drinking straight water with no additives. What it does do is add a little filtering system, as far as I believe, or a flavoring pod that then, I think, generates a scent and taste in, up you through your nostrils to then replicate a taste in your mouth. Something to do with that. It's a crazy sort of new technology. I've been dying to get my hands on one, so why don't we unbox it and see what it's about. So it's nicely packaged. Again, a bit like the Veo blender. It's very Silicon Valley looking. It's very bright. It's cool. You've got a quick start guide. Uh, oh, it comes with two pods, which is amazing. I also have a few different pods here. I have orange and passion fruit, uh, lime, and the Coca-Cola. I'm gonna be trying out the Coca-Cola. Uh, we have a user manual, which is so thick. It's thicker than like old video game manuals that you used to get. Like, I, I, I don't know how difficult a water bottle would be to operate, but we'll find out. And here it is, wrapped up in all its glory. Cool, 650 milliliters. Uh, cool little design on the back. It's clear, it's see-through. And a nice little lid. It feels very nice in my hands. It's quite sturdy, quite weighty. Yeah, I think it's comparable to just sort of your average sports bottle. Um, I wonder if this is a pull top. I haven't, I haven't looked into this at all, so this will be my very first live demonstration. We can fuck up together. Okay, it looks like you can pull it out like that. There we go, there's a piece of the kit. It's at an angle, which I assume is meant to help you fit things in, uh, in like sort of taps and etc. in small sinks and things, so. Um, why don't we fill it up with water and try out a pod? Fill the bottle with water, pop on the flavour pod, activate it, and boom! We've got the water in the bottle like that, and now let's have the pod. There we go. Um, it's actually so strongly smelling. I wish you could kind of smell it through the screen, smell o vision style. But yeah, it's, it's, it's that c classic cola flavour. You know the one. If you're a big Coca-Cola drinker, you know the one. It's not quite Pepsi, it's not quite actual Coke. It's the slightly cheaper one that maybe you've got like home brand Coke. But that's no bad thing if it can make water taste like Coke and keep the health benefits. Anything that keeps me away from the actual poison that is Coca-Cola. So you pop the pot on just here, you just push it in like this. And I believe that's all you need to do. I'm assuming, I probably should have read the many pages of the manual just to get my head around it. I'm just gonna go straight up like this. Oh, it's starting to leak. I'm gonna go straight up and just have a sip and see what I think. I don't know what to expect. I can't be doing this right. That doesn't, doesn't taste of anything. Okay, I am gonna read the manual because so far it just tastes like water. Two hours later. Okay, oh my God. I've just been sat reading this for about 10, 15 minutes trying to get my head around it, which I don't know is a particularly good thing, but it's actually super simple. Where I was going wrong is I was pushing this down, which actually deactivates it somehow. I don't know where it's a thing. So I don't know if you can see this. That's technically off. That's why I was just tasting water. If you just pull it up ever so slightly here, and then you don't need to tilt it or anything. For some reason that actually changes it. You just suck. And that tastes so fizzy. That's so weird. Not only does it taste like Coke, it's made it fizzy, which is weird because it's flat water. That's mental. That's mental. I was actually only ever going to try one flavor, but I'm going to try another flavor just to make sure I've done my due diligence to see if they're all like this. Okay, I'm going to go for orange and passion fruit. Again, smells divine. I don't know if it's wise to open many. Maybe they'll lose their, their flavor if they're left open, but um, they boast that they can do five liters of water from one pod before you lose the scent. So there's clearly some technology going on there whereby it actually interacts with the bottle. It's not just a fragrance that's tricking your mind. It changes the flavor of the water, I can guarantee that. So let's try this bad boy. So it slides on, now I know what I'm doing. It slides on a lot easier. I pulled it up just to make sure it's at the uh, open nozzle. And let's try it. 
it's crazy. Oh, okay. You know, I'm one of these people that is glass half full. I would like things to be good and do well, but I am also skeptical and I'm not afraid to say if something is underwhelming or not impressive. This, this definitely is, is I think it's only 20 to 30 pounds. I think that's a bargain for somebody if you're like me and water is repetitive and you need that solution. I think this is a pretty, pretty good solution considering there's no additives, it's just natural flavoring. Um, it's more like an aroma pod, so I don't quite know how they've achieved it. But it's a really impressive feat. I think it would be easy to write this off as a bit of a gimmick and be quick to judge, but I do think there's something really nice about it. The presentation's excellent. I wonder if you can keep the pod on when you screw the lid on. You can, so you don't have to worry about ever changing the pods or taking them out when you take it away. Nice little handle here. If you're like me, I like spinning it around like this from time to time. I'm really impressed. I think it's, you know what I would probably use it mainly for when I'm out and about and you're doing some gym sessions or whatever and you'll be regularly filling up your water bottle. It'll be nice to know that you're just not having, you know, it is 100% just water that you're having, but there's just something different every time. Um, there are millions of different flavors. I recommend you go and check them out online. There is a wealth of them out there. There's some crazy ones as well. And I reckon you could probably do some like crazy cocktails in here with like uh, hard seltzers or alcohol and. I'm not advising that, <laughs> but it might be worth a go. It definitely takes sparkling water. It mentioned that in the, uh, the multi-page manual. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed. I did not know what I was gonna get. So I don't know how my reaction has come across on camera. Thanks for checking out this review. Uh, hopefully come at you with another one soon. Maybe this is my solution to my coke addiction. Not that kind of coke addiction. God bless, good night. <laughs>